Hey everyone! So I have just completed one of my first animation exercises. Its goal is to learn the foundations of body uh, dynamics. As you can see, it's just a character uh, jumping over the gap. It's pretty simple and I thought that I will make a, a very short making off about it to just show you my process. Uh, basically, uh, I have started with creating a key poses. So just in con in a few consecutive frames, I have set up uh, the I have blocked out my animation. I have set up the key poses that the character will need to go through to accomplish the motion. Uh, the key here is that poses should be clear and have a clear line of action. Uh, they should have a nice silhouette and be appealing. So I did my best to make them look nice and cool. And uh, the fewer uh, of basic poses you will have, the easier it will be to animate. And you can r r always add details later. So basically here uh, a character is just standing at the beginning of the animation. The next pose is that he is taking a step and uh, you know, pre uh, in his preparation to jump, then he so uh, he crunches down in so-called anticipation. So before you create a, an animation, you want to create a pose where character moves a little bit in the opposite direction. It uh, helps uh, people to anticipate what motions what motion is going to come next. And the next pose is when the character lifts off the ground. As you can see, like a spring here, he just expands his body and there is a clear line of action. There is a little bit of reversal of line of action, like here he is like a C-shaped, uh, like so, all crunched down and curved. And here uh, the line of action is a little bit reversed and uh, uh, there is a high contrast between those poses and uh, also sil silhouette is pretty clear and the next pose is uh, the character being at the top of his jump uh, position uh, and uh, the next pose is he is uh, when his leg first touches the ground uh, the next one he is crunched again and then he is gradually standing up taking one more step and that's it. That's all of our poses. So this process is called blocking. So basically setting the necessary keyframes for our animation. Uh, next step is to figure out the timing for animation. And here what you do is to just take these key po poses and spread them around in timeline. Uh, and basically you just try to make uh, the timing make sense uh, to make it look reasonable and uh, at this step of the animation what you want to do is to select all of the curves and uh, set their interpolation their function style to constant so basically it will not interpolate between poses so it will just be this kind of a block animation and that allows you to focus purely on timing. So after moving around keyframes key for a while I've ended up with animation that looks like this. And uh, you know I just uh, look at it and use my judgment and think about uh, how long jump is supposed to take and uh, at this point it seems pretty reasonable to me. So I'm uh, happy and satisfied with it. If you want to look at it clo um, closer, like uh, step takes around 10 to 12 frames. Uh, so two steps will take 24 frames. Then he prepares for animation, uh, for jump. And then uh, for five frames he is crunched down, then he expands. And here when he jumps you want to move him a little bit faster. So 3 to 4 frames between poses and then he is uh, slowing down again as he, when he is crunching down. And then he is expanding and uh, the whole animation t takes 75 frames. 
so after you have uh, figured out your timing and remember you will keep uh, editing it and moving frames around as you continue animating because uh, th when you interpolate animation it will uh, be easier to see which parts of the motion make sense and which don't so in the next step I have selected all of the animation curves in the rig and set their function to linear like so and that uh, tells uh, how you need to just interpolate a straightforward motion between uh, key poses so now that I have some interpolation I can start working on the basic motion of the character so I can uh, look at how he moves and see whether the transitions make sense and also at that point I have started started adding breakdown keys so key poses are the ones that are necessary to define the motion of the character like standing at the beginning and uh, taking the first step and breakdown pose would be something like this uh, it helps to define the arc of the foot so uh, he moves foot in, in an arc so he lifts it up a little bit and you can modify the uh, this position in between the two key poses so at this point you just add a few breakdowns where it's necessary as you can see I didn't add uh, so many of them so just lifting his legs between key positions then after he's crunched down I have added one more key that is identical to this pose over here after a few frames after that and that just tells him to hold this uh, to stay in this position for a few frames uh, then I have also added breakdown between crunch down position and expanded position it looked like this and I just edited uh, a few controls over here so that uh, motion would be more would make more sense and then I have added uh, breakdown over over here Let, yes over here and Mm, there was a breakdown when he lifts up the leg when he's standing up gradually uh, this is the uh, the keyframe and then the fi finally a little breakdown where he again lifts, lifts his ankle to take the final step so basically here you just add uh, a few breakdowns that are necessary to completely define the motion of the character and you just uh, don't worry about uh, is in and is out you don't worry about speed of the motion just you're just trying to make uh, the motion of the character make sense and at that point I have pretty much nailed it and I am pretty satisfied with the way he moves and as you can see you can already see that he's he's jumping and it's pretty good so I'm pretty happy with it and uh, once I have nailed that I uh, can move on to the next step so I select all of the curves in the character and convert them to busier and busier basically says uh, that you want to make curves smooth and uh, uh, you know uh, add slow ins and slow outs so instead of linear interpolation it will gradually speed up the motion and slow down and once you have done that uh, the next step in the animation is to just edit the, those, those curves so you edit the tangents of the curves and you delete all the unnecessary keyframes and you make all the small little modifications basically the goal at this step of the process is to uh, clean up the animation to remove all the unnecessary weird twitch motions and just make curves to look lean and smooth and finally the final step is polished so once your uh, curves are clean and uh, you know uh, simple to control and make sense uh, then you can adjust some poses or add some keyframes to add some details to the animation you can add some hip rotations and chest rotations and all sorts of details and finally you render out your animation and it looks like this 
There's probably some things to improve about it, but this is about the level I'm animating right now, so uh, I'll just I'm just going to move on to the next exercise and uh, after a while maybe I will look at this animation again and say create a list of things that I would like to fix and approve and then fix and approve them one by one to take my animation to the next level uh, but at some point you know once you have done uh, the basic animation once you have accomplished what you wanted to accomplish with this exercise I think it it's okay to move on to the next one gain some more experience and then return to this animation and see what else can I do to make it better so there you go this is my little making off again uh, finally I'm going to go through the steps one more time just to remind you about them so you first set the keyframes, set the key poses, block out the animation. The next step is a timing, spreading the, uh, the keys through the timeline and uh, making the timing make sense. After that you add breakdown keys, so you add the keyframes between the key poses to finally completely define the motion of the character. Uh, then you turn the key uh, well you edit uh, a little bit uh, the motion to make it make sense to you know remove all the bugs and uh, all of the issue to fix all of the issues and after that you can turn all of your animation curves to busier and uh, start cleaning up your animation curves to create a clean uh, simple uh, smooth motion with slow ins and slow outs and after that final step is polish where you add details and uh, tweak po poses and uh, tweak maybe timing a little bit and the proof animation to the degree that you can uh, you find the issues with animations and things you would like to improve and then you just create yourself a list of things you want to fix or improve and then uh, improve them one by one and finally you have the final animation so i hope you have found this tutorial useful and you sh i'll see you next time